today we're going to be talking about John's death, his resurrection, and how he changed from dying. So everybody knows that John was killed at the end of season 5. When he was resurrected in season 6, a lot of people were confused because he didn't seem to have changed much. But that's because people weren't looking for the right change. Everybody expected him to, like, turn evil or something. And that's not what happened. John's whole story in season 6 has been about his death. Not the death of his body, but more the death of his spirit. The death of his spirit really stretched out with pieces of John being chipped away until he had no hope, only fear and despair. Pretty much all of John's behavior in season 6 was characterized by fear. And it wasn't just the fear of death, it's the fear that he can't control his own fate. John's life pretty much sucked the last five years, and then he was murdered by his own men. That would pretty much make anybody afraid of their future, and that all their future will be is just more shit and misery. He tells Sansa, I fought, and I lost. John shows that fear every time he is reminded that he can't control his own fate. When anybody mentions his death, he looks like a beaten dog. When Sansa wants to retake Winterfell, he doesn't really want anything to do with it. He only agrees to it when Sansa ensures Jon that Ramsay actually has Rickon and he's not just bluffing. Even when Jon agrees, he still looks pretty afraid about it, like he wants to be anywhere else besides there. This led to discussions right before the battle. When he was talking to Sansa, he pretty much knew they wouldn't win, he didn't really believe it or anything. But he also knows that he can't really control his fate, and that he just has to follow the path he's on. We've pleaded with every house that'll have us. The Blackfish can't help us. We're lucky to have this many men. It's not enough. No, it's not enough. It's what we have. This mindset leads to one of the biggest discussions in the show. If Ramsay wins, I'm not going back there alive. Do you understand me? I won't ever let him touch you again. I'll protect you, I promise. No one can protect me. No one can protect anyone. Setting aside what this says about Sansa, this exchange is devastating to John's state of mind as well. Protecting Sansa is the only task John has willingly embraced since dying. John is only at Winterfell because of Sansa and Rickon, and then Sansa declares that he is powerless to do the one thing he wants to do, protect his family. Right after this, John tells Melisandre not to bring him back. John's trying to gain the power over death to not be able to come back and have it end for good. And Melisandre won't even give him that. And she believes that it's up to the Lord of Light to decide whether he lives or dies, not himself and not her. At this point, Jon really has control over nothing. He can't protect his family, he's on the verge of a battle he never wanted, and he doesn't have enough men or any real control whether they win or lose. And he doesn't even know if that dying will bring it all to an end. And then Ramsay lets Rickon run across the field. The only thing Jon is living for at this point is to protect the two family members he can. One of them just denied that he can protect her, and the other one is running across the field with arrows flying down. When Rickon starts running across the field, there's only one thing left for Jon, and that's to protect his little brother. He has no power, only the threat of hope that he can do that. And then he watches Rickon die. The screen even darkens as Jon looks down at him. Jon doesn't really look at Ramsay like he's mad, he looks at him more with despair. The gods just kept giving Jon shit and just spat in the face of the last strut of hope that he had. This is why Jon charges. Yes, arrows were being shot at him, but he could have easily turned back between the volley. He wasn't trying to escape the arrows or lead his men to victory or kill Ramsay. He was really pretty much charging to challenge the fate of himself, either to keep him alive or to die in peace. When his horse dies, he basically comes to the realization that he wasn't really brought there for a victory. He was just there to die again. At the very last second, his men catch up to him and he has to fight. Now let's look at why they charged. 
So all his men pretty much loved him, and they were fighting for him, not for the northern cause. As John was standing there facing the enemy alone, his men were thinking they have to charge. All his men knew that charging and abandoning the plan would most likely make them lose, and they did it anyway. Once the two sides met, it was a bunch of just chaos and confusion. It was pretty much the reality of warfare. John didn't really know what was happening, but he did realize that his men abandoned their plan, and it wasn't because they were trying to play it smart or anything, and they didn't think they would win, but they did it because they believed in John, and that they loved John and they didn't want to see him die alone. And then the battle progresses, and John finds himself buried beneath all the bodies. The director kind of said it was his rebirth scene. John keeps fighting his way up and basically declares that he wants to live. Kid Harrington describes the scene this way. When the crush starts happening, he slows down, and there is that thing of peace where he thinks, I could just stay here and let it all end. And then something drives him to fight up, and at that moment when he comes up and grabs for breath, he is reborn again. So basically after a whole season of running away, and a season of fear and worry, and a season of no control, when he was faced with death, he declared that he still wanted to live. Pretty much right after that, the battle turned around, and they won because of the help of the Knights of the Vale. When John climbs over the bodies and stares down Ramsay, he has a look in his eyes he hasn't had all season, and he might not have had it at all. It's the look of absolute intent, a man who knows what he wants and he's about to go take it. He wanted to kill Ramsay and he went after it, and he pretty much almost did until he realized that it is Sansa's fight, not his. The whole season was about John's death. First the death of his body, then the death of his belief, and the death of his will, and finally the death of his hope. And it was only in those last few minutes of the battle where John finally returned fully to life. We started to see the change a little bit in season 6 episode 10, where he is taken command as king of the north, but we will probably see a bigger change even in season 7 of this new John who is ready to fight and do whatever it takes to save everybody. So for everybody saying that John didn't change at all after his death, you're just simply wrong, it just wasn't as subtle and as straightforward as you wanted it to be. Please let me know what you think about this in the comments, leave a like on this video, and subscribe for more Game of Thrones related videos. There is a link to the source reddit post in the description where I got most of this idea from.